Well, this is uh, regarding uh, Mehul Choksi and uh, his whereabouts. He's currently in Antigua and now the CBI has written to the Antiguan government there after it was revealed that uh, the PNB scam accused Mehul Choksi had fled to Antigua with a visa to the nation there. India is seeking the details here of uh, his exact location. Interpol authorities inform India about this move to the Caribbean nation. Two chart sheets, one by the CBI and one by the ED that are against him. Let's get in further inputs here. We have with us our senior correspondent Bhavatosh with those inputs here on does the chase become harder now that he's shifted to Antigua? In fact, it's, uh, it's now very tough for Indian agencies to bring him back, primarily because he has now acquired uh, uh, the nationality of an, an Antiguan. He has an Antiguan passport. In fact, uh, he got mm -hmm. the nationality in November 2017 when the first time the scam was, uh, in fact, uh, detected by PNB. Then on 15th uh, January, he took uh, the oath of allegiance of uh, Antigua and thereby he became an Antigua national. Now on 16th of January, his representatives again went to uh, PNB's uh, Brady House branch and asked for renewal of LOUs. At that point of time, they were refused. Uh, on 29th January, PNB... Uh, in fact, uh, filed the first complaint with, PN, uh, with CBI claiming that the scam is around 280 crore rupees. Subsequently, it became as big as 13,000 crore rupees. So he was always one step ahead of Indian agencies. Yeah. And also he knew that at some point of time, the scam will come out in open. He used his Indian passport to leave the country on 6th of January. His wife is an American national. And he stayed in U.S. for long because there was a diffusion notice, not red corner notice. As soon as he realized that Arkin will be issued against him, he decided to forego his Indian passport or junk it and then uh, uh, purchase or got new uh, mm -hmm. uh, Antiguan passport. Bhavtosh, now the question of uh, an extradition, of course, doesn't arise. Uh, even if he was holding his Indian passport, there is no extradition treaty that exists between the two countries. But now that he's a citizen of the country, he's a citizen of Antigua, how is this going to make it harder for the CBI? On what grounds... Are they going to be fighting this case and asking for him to be sent here now? But uh, CBI has uh, two uh, uh, charge sheets against him. Uh, one uh, was filed by the CBI, the second was filed by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, the CBI has given his Indian passport details in the red corner notice that they tried to uh, seek from Interpol. So they have to update that information. Plus, mm -hmm. an Indian passport allows them to travel across the globe because uh, the diffusion notice also carries the Indian passport details not the Antiguan passport details. So what? Uh, that's the reason why CBI has again mm -hmm. written to uh, Antiguan authorities, asking them to give them information about him so that they can also update their information with Interpol. All right, Bhavtosh, many thanks for getting us those inputs here. Very clearly, being several steps ahead here of both the CBI and the ED.